In this video, we're gonna go over the top three tips on how to save money during Black Friday. Let's get into it. Hi everybody, I'm Mark, and this is my show, Money with Mark. This is the show all about money, how we spend it, how we save it, and how we invest it. So if you're looking to improve your money situation, hit the subscribe button, and that way you can get more videos like this one. All right, so with Black Friday just around the corner, I wanna get into the top three tips on how you can save more money and still buy yourself some nice holiday gifts. Tip number one, sales do not save you money. This is like a really, really important tip that we all need to really wrap our head around because it's too important and then so many of us got get caught up in this easy marketing ploy. And to demonstrate this, I'm gonna pull out my whiteboard. Okay, so let's say we're shopping around on Black Friday and we find mojitos, and mojitos usually are priced at $10. However, because of this Black Friday special, you are actually only paying $5 for this mojito. Now, so many people will buy this mojito for $5, and they'll come home and they'll say, hey, look, I saved $5. No, you did not save $5. As a matter of fact, you lost $5 because this is not a, this is a sale. This is not savings. A sale and savings are very, very different things. And we need to stop with this mindset that you're saving $5 by buying this mojito. This is not savings. This is you losing money still. So don't get caught into the trap of mixing up the terms sale and savings. Okay, time to get into tip number two. And tip number two, this is a nice savings tip that I use for my day-to-day -day life over the entire year, not just on holidays like Black Friday. And that is to use some sort of notes app and to track what you actually want to buy. So I do this for myself personally, like when I want something like a new mountain bike or if I want a new pair of jeans, I put it on this list. And then I can also move the items around so I know what I want more than other items. And you can also build out this list to include gifts for your kids or for your girlfriend or boyfriend or for your parents or grandparents. Creating a list will keep you on track with what you need to buy and reduce any sort of impulse spending. I'm gonna pull up my list now and uh, I call it my wish list. I'm gonna show you what is on it for me. Uh, my top item right now is a, an infinity seat for a new seat for my bike. Uh, and then my second item is a Womp bracelet tracker, which is like this athletic thing, but super nerdy. But then I have other items like ideas for my grandparents, which I have nice cheeses down and some fancy jams. By tracking what you want in a list, number one, you're going to be able to give what you want to other people. So if you're your parents or your partner is looking for gift ideas for you, you have a list of your top ideas. And it will help you reduce your spending on Black Friday sales by only buying exactly what you need for every single person. So plan out what you're gonna buy before you actually buy it. But something that you don't have to plan to do is to smash the like button on this video because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and spread this video to more people. And tip number three, which is to get creative with your gift ideas. Especially when it comes to your partner, having gift ideas that are either more experience based or something that's a lot more sentimental, like something homemade. These are not just great gift ideas, but they also have a lot more sentimental value. So for example, I live in Nova Scotia in Canada and I live really close to the ocean. So I actually will go to the ocean and I make my own artisanal salts out of Nova Scotian ocean water and I'll ship that out with some of my gifts to people. So I'll make like a lemon paprika salt or a, uh, <clears throat> or even like I have this like hot sauce salt that's super good too. So get creative and sometimes these homemade gifts are a great way for you to not have to buy new things and just help you reduce your impact on the environment and also the impact on your wallet. So now I have a question for you. What tips do you have that you use to help reduce some of your spending? I wanna know down in the comments below so that we can help feed each other and I might even make a video off of your comments. So put your money saving ideas down in the comments on this YouTube video for others to see and for me to create more videos out of it. And with that being said, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in to Money With Mark and I will see you in the next video. But before I take off, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It really helps me out. 
and I will see you later. Peace out.